So Patreon is a pretty popular platform for creators, but what if there's something better? In this video, I wanna share with you what I think that is. What's up everybody, my name is David. I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering Patreon versus Ghost the pros and cons, and personally why I think Ghost is better. So let's get started. All right, so first off, anyone who's not really familiar with what Patreon is or what Ghost is, let me just briefly explain that. So what Patreon is, is just a free membership website. So running a membership website in the past used to be overly complicated, but now you can go to patreon.com and create a Patreon page, set up different tiers, drive traffic from your awareness channels, whatever you wanna call it, and then get people to subscribe to your Patreon page on a monthly or yearly basis. Ghost by contrast is a full-on content management system similar to WordPress, but with a much stronger focus on email marketing and paid subscriptions. And I find it much more powerful than Patreon overall. Now, one slight detail I want to bring up is that Ghost does cost a small monthly fee, whereas Patreon is completely free. But I think it's worth it because in the long term, you can make a lot more with Ghost. So anyways, let me get into the pricing plans right now. Okay, so pricing and transaction fees between these two platforms. So Ghost costs a flat $9 a month at their lowest tier whereas Patreon takes five to 12%, depending on the tier that you use to sign up. Most people are going to be signing up with the middle tier, where it, which is currently at 8%, so 8% of your revenue. And so if you do the math and you're actually having success, Patreon ends up taking a lot more money long-term from you than Ghost. So say we have a $1,000 monthly recurring income source on both these platforms. If we're over on like Ghost, we're just paying $9 a month and we're making $1,000 a month. Whereas if we're on Patreon, we're making $1,000 a month, they're taking 8% of that $1,000, which is $80. So you can see that the fees on Patreon really add up if you start having success. But if you just wanna get started and not paying any money, then Patreon is a better option. Next up is content between these two platforms. So as a Ghost user, you can create publicly available blog posts, private blog posts, you can have e your email list that's just built into the ghost.org system that you don't have to pay for a third party like you do with Patreon. You can have audio clips, you can embed videos as well. Now, Patreon is pretty basic with just text, images, and you can embed videos from say like YouTube or somewhere else into your Patreon page and share that. And I also find that Patreon has the edge a little bit with live streaming. So you can live stream on your Patreon page in a way that you can't do with ghost.org and a ghost powered website. But overall, between the two platforms, ghost.org allows you to build out a full fledged, full on website with a wide variety of content from audio, video, blog posts, private content, email lists, and so forth. Design and branding. So Patreon pages are just that. They're a page on patreon.com. So it's patreon.com slash your username. And you have limited customizability with your Patreon page, which is okay. It's a cookie cutter design and it's effective. You can have a banner image. You can display different tiers that people can subscribe to. It's just a nice, quick, little, easy to use sales page that you can drive traffic to. By contrast, Ghost is a full-on content management system to create a full-fledged website with pages, posts, private content, email lists, and so forth. I don't wanna repeat myself, but I just wanna hammer that home. And that's the biggest difference. With Patreon, you get a cookie cutter sales page designed for your Patreon page that you can customize to some degree. But with Ghost, you can build out a full website, a full membership website with an email list and private content and so forth, and brand it to what you want, which I think is very effective and creative. But one thing I do appreciate about a Patreon page is I do like the social proof where you can display how many actual subscribers you have. So I do find that effective and I do find the tier structure just displaying everything very nice and how many private pieces of content you're gonna get by subscribing to a Patreon page and listing out the different bullet points. So it is an effective, simple sales page. It's just cookie cutter. So if you're looking for something where you can design your own website, your own brand, build out a proper membership website, you're gonna like ghost.org a lot more. Custom domain name. You can't set a custom domain name with Patreon. You can set a custom domain name for your membership website powered by ghost.org. Private, members only content. So both these platforms allow you to do exactly that. You can set private content where people have to give you money in order to get access to this private content. Now they both work a little bit differently. So Patreon works by way of posts. So you can post an image, you can post a piece of text, you can post a video and so forth. Whereas with Ghost, I find it to be a lot better from a user experience perspective because you can just create a private blog post. So that means you can combine text, image, video, all in one piece of content. Now where Patreon does have the edge, in my opinion, is that you are able to live stream in a way you can't really do with a Ghost website. So if live streaming is important to you, you're probably gonna like Patreon a little bit more. 
blogging features between these two platforms. So there's really nothing to compare here because you can't blog with a Patreon page. Like, yeah, you can create a publicly available post, but that post is not going to rank for anything. You're not going to type in something to Google and then a Patreon post is going to be ranking number one. Not happening. Whereas with a ghost powered website, yeah, that absolutely can happen and does happen. Because again, a ghost website is a full on website. It's a content management system and you can totally create content that ranks organically for various search terms. And then you can convert that organic search traffic in some meaningful way. Whether or not that's getting people to subscribe to your email newsletter, becoming a paying member, an affiliate offer, running paid ads, and like, yeah, you can run paid ads on your website because it's your website. You can do whatever you want with it. Or getting people to just share your content on social media to expand your reach. Now, the actual blogging features are very similar to what you'd find with WordPress. So if you're already a WordPress user, you're going to be right at home using a ghost.org powered website. So you can easily create H1, H2, H3 title tags, paragraphs, embed pictures, audio, video. You can even embed memes, which is super fun and very creative. Uh, you have dedicated product boxes to help make more money from affiliate offers. And you have a wide range of integrations that you could use as well as different content blocks that you can use within your blog posts. So in terms of blogging features, absolutely no comparison. With Patreon, you can't blog. You can create publicly available posts and that's it. Whereas with a ghost.org powered website, you can just create blog posts that rank organically. Like my membership website gets organic search traffic every single day because it ranks for a bunch of different search terms with regards to the blog posts that I've set for free and not private, which is what only my paying subscribers have access to. Subscribers and marketing features. So both these platforms obviously allow you to have paying subscribers. But the thing that I don't like about Patreon is that it's a two-step process to get new people to sign up. So when someone visits your Patreon page and they click on sign up, they're automatically redirected to a page where they have to create your Patreon account or sign into Patreon. Then they have to navigate back to your Patreon page in order to become a paying member. By contrast, a ghost website, you don't have to do that. You just click on the subscribe button, you enter your email, select the two you want to subscribe to, click pay, and then you have immediate access. There's no two-step process. Now, one thing I really like is that Patreon does a great job at displaying the tiers that people can subscribe to. And also you can have more tiers on a Patreon page than you can with a ghost website if you're comparing the base ghost plan to a Patreon page. So the base ghost plan, you can have two tiers and whether or not you want like a free and a paid plan or two paid plans, whatever. Whereas a Patreon page, you can just, if you want five tiers, you can totally do that. And one cool thing is that you can limit how many people can subscribe per tier which is quite useful if you wanna offer like a higher ticket offer. So maybe you have like a monthly coaching, $2,000 access to me, something like that. And maybe five people can subscribe to that tier. You can do that with Patreon. One powerful feature about Ghost is that you can direct traffic to a thank you page. So once someone becomes a paying subscriber on your membership website with Ghost, you can automatically direct them to a thank you page. And so that thank you page, you can do whatever you want with. So you can edit and customize it to your liking. So if you just want to have a basic generic, hey, thanks for signing up, follow me on these social media accounts, you can do that. If you want to set up a one-time offer page, you can do that. So hey, thanks for subscribing. Here's this thing I built that you can buy right now. You can do that. If you want to use it as a lead magnet, like subscribe to my newsletter and get immediate access to my masterclass on XYZ123 thing, you can absolutely do that with a ghost website. So both platforms are quite good. I just don't like the two-step process with a Patreon page. I do like that you can have multiple tiers and they can limit how many people can subscribe per tier. I really like the thank you page feature within Ghost because that's quite powerful if you know what you're doing. And finally, with both platforms, you can set up promo codes. So promo codes are very effective at converting people to become paying subscribers. So promo codes can be something like a free trial or some type of percentage discount. Personally, I think Ghost is a little bit better because you have email marketing built into the platform so you can build a list of people who are interested in what you're doing and then email that list a promo code and saying that hey 50% off your first month if you subscribe something like that that's very effective email marketing so the money's in the list like they say which is actually not true the money is within the relationships that you can build through your email list because you can keep in touch with people so with one monthly fee which is nine dollars a month you can have up to 500 subscribers with ghost.org. So that's both free subscribers and paying subscribers. And you can also set like, hey, you don't have to have a free tier. You can have a pay all paid tiers or 
Uh, vice versa, you could just have a bunch of free tiers and no pay tiers. It's totally up to you. It's your website. You can do whatever you want with it. But one thing I just love is that you get access to email marketing. Now, granted, it's nothing fancy. It's like it's really good if you're looking for something where to send out a weekly newsletter. If you want to brand it as like your membership website and subscribe and get access to like my weekly high impact newsletter on XYZ one, two, three thing, you're going to love ghost.org. But if you're wanting and expecting a little bit more complicated email marketing features where you're going to build out some type of like funnel, you're going to be quite disappointed. Patreon, by contrast, doesn't provide any type of email marketing whatsoever. And in fact, you have to go out and buy third-party email marketing services from a different provider. Now, there are a lot of providers that provide like a free-to-use plan, but honestly, like you're going to have to pay for email marketing. So that's why Patreon can get a little bit expensive if you're trying to do the whole subscription membership thing, because not only do they take a large portion of your earnings with by their percentage, but they also require you to pay for email marketing if you wanna go that route, which you really do, like you do want an email list. And so with ghost.org, you just get it out of the box and it works. And so you can either, when you write a blog post, you can publish it to your site and then email that blog post out to your audience. Or if you just wanna email your audience because you're like running a weekly newsletter, whatever, and it's Sunday and it's time to send out my Sunday entrepreneur newsletter, whatever it is you're doing, you can totally do that with ghost.org. Whereas with Patreon, you have to have a third party service. All right, everyone, that's it for this video on Patreon versus Ghost, which one is best, the pros and cons, and so forth. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something. If you did, consider subscribing and hit that like button. Anyways, my name is David. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.